everybody. Happy New Year. And I'd like to welcome all the new people that have signed up. Welcome. Uh, we're going to have a great time. You're going to learn a ton, and so am I. And uh, I'd like to thank all the people who have been here since the beginning. And I'm just excited about electric guitar in 2013. All right, so uh, a quick announcement for the new people. You may uh, notice that there's a lot of foot stomping going on. We're going to continue that. That's a great way to lock into the groove. And uh, you don't need a lot of equipment. You just need a shoe and something that makes some noise. You know, a guitar case, a piece of wood. Get ready to stomp your foot on the ground, and that way uh, we can lock into the groove together. And uh, let's see, besides that, I love when you end any phrase that you play with one of two things, uh, either a slide off the note or some vibrato and a slide as well. So uh, whenever you send me a, a video exchange, make sure that uh, you pay attention to your endings. Whenever you end a phrase, you know, if you go, give us some vibrato, give me your best, your best shaking that string around. Be a rock face with it. And then slide off at the end. Recently in the forum, there's been a lot of discussion about the Mixolydian mode. And I wanted to show you a Mixolydian lick that I just came up with just for uh, extra bonus material. And uh, here it is. It sounds like this. It's got six notes. Those are the first three. Those are the next three. Now, this is going to go over an A7 chord. And I'm just playing three notes to make the A7. I'm playing the root A. I'm playing the minor seventh interval, which is a G. And I'm playing the major third interval which is a C sharp. And you even heard, when I counted this off, I went like, one, two, three, four. And those are the notes that give a dominant chord its character and also give the Mixolydian mode its character. Those are the most important notes for the Mixolydian sound. So let's take a look at the, the solo I came up with. It begins with the third. That's an octave lower. Then I played the seventh, so right off the bat, I established that Mixolydian tonality. And then I went to the root. So I've got some really important notes there. Then I played the next three notes. This is the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. I played the seventh again. And then I played the ninth. That's a nice extension on top that you'll often hear. Like a James Brown funk chord. Put it right there on the bottom. And uh, so th those are the six notes. I picked everything with alternate picking. Down, up, down. <laughs> I can't say it and play it. There we go. Alternate picking. Starting with the down stroke. Then I just did it up an octave. So we began with that C sharp. We're going to continue C sharp there. Same exact notes, same exact shape, same exact fingers. Same six notes, up an octave. Now we're going to do the same thing. Find the C sharp here, 14th fret, and you guessed it. So really nice dominant nine or Mixolydian arpeggio kind of scale. I don't, I, I'm, I'm getting confused with my lingo, but listen to that sound. I love that. All right, so that's my gift for you. Uh, let's get the new year off to a great start with some Mixolydian. Na -na -na -na. Thank you very much. <laughs>